Did you lose your pin or maybe you never got one or the only person who knew the pin has left the company or is your third party company the only one who knows the pin? Okay, let's not panic. Whatever the situation is, I got you covered. Hello and welcome to another low budget video from Motor Carrier Assistant. My name is Krista and in this video, I'm going to show you how to retrieve or reset your pin. In this video, we'll talk about the pin, what it is, what does it look like, when do you need it. We'll talk about a couple ways available to you to get your pin. We'll also talk about whether you should get your current pin or get a new pin altogether. Let's get started. PIN stands for your personal identification number. Think of the PIN as a passcode or password that goes along with your USDOT number. As with any password, the PIN needs to be protected and not passed around or publicly displayed. This PIN was given to you by the FMCSA when you first obtained your USDOT number. If this was a while ago, chances are that you might not have the original piece of paper. No worries. If you need your PIN, FMCSA has it. You just need to ask for it. This is what a PIN looks like. It is made up of eight characters, a combination of letters and numbers, but not just any combination. Those letters and numbers have a specific spot. This comes in handy if your PIN happens to have a zero or the letter O. Sometimes it's hard to tell them apart, but if you know the spot it is supposed to be, a letter or a number, then you'll be able to figure it out. Another particular characteristic of the PIN is that the, all the letters are in caps. What I find curious is that some FMCSA systems accept the PIN with lowercase letters, while others do not. Let's take the guessing work out of the equation and make this a rule. When you use your PIN, enter it with the letters in caps always. So when do you need this pin? Pretty much every time you need to log on to an FMCSA website. If you're going to be presented with this logon window, you can use your portal account or use your DOT number and pin. You will need your pin at the portal when you try to create an account. or when you try to update your MCS-150 form. Needless to say, when it comes to dealing with the FMCSA system, you might want to keep your PIN handy. Okay, before we request your PIN, there are a couple of decisions you need to make. One, how would you like FMCSA to deliver your PIN, regular mail or electronically? And two, if you're requesting FMCSA to send your current PIN or a new PIN. Let's go over a few things that might help you with your decisions. Which delivery method? You might need to choose the regular mail option if you're not sure of the email address that FMCSA has on your registration form. Some FMCSA websites say it takes four to seven days. Other web pages say it takes seven to 10 days. So let's just say it might take between four and 10 days. The link you're gonna use is here. And it's also available in the video description below. Don't click on the link just yet. Quick note here, if you are a broker, you must choose this delivery method. Apparently this is the only option at this point. Your second option is email. If the FMCSA does not have your current address, this is your best bet. You'll receive the PIN immediately. The link you're going to use is here and it's also available in the video description below. Finish watching the video for the needed steps before you click on the link. The second decision you need to make, are you going to request your current PIN or are you going to ask for a reset and get a whole new PIN? You should ask for the current PIN if you are the company's owner or company's official and you are the only one safeguarding the PIN. Maybe you are working with a third party company and you don't know their own PIN. This is not good. Nothing against third party companies, just make sure they are not the only ones who know your PIN. You should ask for a new PIN if by now multiple people know the PIN. 
Maybe you have worked with third party companies in the past. You really don't want your pin out there. Or maybe people who knew the pin have left the company. Again, your pin should not be out there. Now, let's take a look at the steps to follow if you choose the regular mail delivery method. When you click on the link for regular mail delivery, it brings you to this page. Click on yes. Enter your USDOT number and the name and title of the company's official. Here's where you make the choice. Do you want a current or existing pin or a whole new one? Once you make your choice, click on Submit. Whichever option you choose brings you to this page where you get to verify your address. This address better be right because if it isn't, you're not going to get the letter. Select yes if the address is correct, select no otherwise. In case you choose that the address is not correct, you're going to get to this page, letting you know that you need to update your address in the MCS 150 form. If your address is correct, then you select yes, you're going to get this confirmation page, letting you know that you'll be receiving your PIN in the next few days. But we don't have a few days, so let's see what happens if you choose the email option. Click on the email option link. This is going to bring you to this page. This is where you get to select if you're requesting your current PIN or a PIN reset that will give you a whole new PIN. This brings you to this page. Everything is required here. Make sure you enter the carrier name as it appears on your registration form. If not, you are going to get a message letting you know that it is wrong. When ready, click on continue. If everything checks out, there's one more option you need to select. The system wants to verify that you are who you say you are. The system is going to send you a verification code to either your email address or your phone. Select your option and click on continue. In the next screen, enter the verification code you received and wait for your email. The letter sent to you looks like this. This is your PIN. Make sure you save the letter. If you encounter any issues along the way, contact FMCSA Help Desk, call the number here, and choose option two in the menu. I hope you found this video useful. Please subscribe to my channel and set notifications so you don't miss any future videos. We have a lot more to come. Thank you for watching.